day of the readings, you won't find them because we're using the readings for the, for the saint. And the reason I chose this is because Maximilian Kolb was a great saint of our, of our era. He was a prisoner in Auschwitz in Poland. And they were lining all the people up to send them to the ovens. And Maximilian was standing next to a man who had a family. And the man was chosen. And Maximilian no, said, no, spare him, take me. But instead of putting Maximilian, and so they spared the man's life. But in true Nazi fashion, instead of sending Maximilian to the ovens, they starved him to death in his cell. And there he died in its small little tiny cell, although that mainly not much bigger than, as you might say, a phone booth. And there he died. And when I visited his, his, uh, his room, there was, there was the very, you know, in, amidst all the horror that took place in that camp in Birkenau, which was his neighbor, there was a peace there. You know that in spite of all the chaos around him, Maximilian Kolb loved enough to give his life so that some other person may live. And that's truly living the gospel to lay down one's life for one's friend. And that's really hard to do. Because, you know, if, if Maximilian Cole wasn't cho ch chosen in that, that particular uh, lineup, he may have been chosen later, but he chose to help try to save a person's life. And it was amazing that the man and his family were at his um, canonization ceremony in Rome. And one of our parishioners happened to be there, I found out this morning, and that's beautiful. You know, are we willing enough to lay down our lives for a friend? Now, that doesn't mean necessarily being Maximilian Kolbe, but really standing up when to injustice, to making sure that, you know, everyone is treated with respect. Maximilian ended up in jail because he was helping people, especially the Jewish people. You know, that's a great love, to make sure that everyone was treated with respect. Would we would have more Maximum Kolbs in our, in our day and age, when there's so much bitterness and anger and hatred and violence. You know, standing in Auschwitz, I've been to Auschwitz, Birkenau, and Dachau. They are powerful, powerful places. But in the midst of all those places, there was a peace because people were killed violently. But who won in the end? Evil was conquered eventually, and peace came to the world. Our prayer is that we continue to hold that peace and we remember when people are mistreated because of their race, religion, or, or orientation, that evil will rise again, and we need more Maximilian Kolbs to, to, to counteract that. Thank you for participating in this production of our virtual mass. Your presence means so much. Every day, so many parishioners connect to OLPH through the digital ministry. The digital ministry is one of almost 80 ministries supported by the parish. That's why your support of the parish is crucial, so we can continue to have the resources to fund all of our ministries that touch the lives of many. Thank you for watching, continue to watch, and thanks again for your support.